Good day, viewers. You're welcome to Development Platform, your number one TV program on developmental activities. Our focus today is on Council of Nigerian Mining Engineers and Geoscientists, popularly called COMEG, and the Nigerian Geological Survey Agency. They are agencies under the watch of the Ministry of Mines and Steel Development. The Council of Nigerian Mining Engineers and Geoscientists, COMEG, is a body that is saddled with the responsibility of registration and accreditation of miners and geoscientists in Nigeria. While the Nigerian Geological Survey Agency is an agency whose duty is to carry out detailed geological investigation, producing geological, geophysical, and geochemical maps of Nigeria on various links, promoting the exploitation of minerals in Nigeria. Our crew also had one-on-one -on -one interview with the chief executives of these agencies. Please join me as we take you through the background of these all-important agencies under the mining sector in Nigeria. I am Sonny David. Stay tuned. We'll be back after this break. Council of Nigerian Mining Engineers and Joe Scientists, COMEC, cordially invites you to the COMEC Digital Stamp Launch. Date, 1st March 2022. Time, 10 a.m. Venue. Minister's Conference Room Ministry of Mines and Steel Development, Chief Host Architect Olamile Kong Adegbite, Minister of Mines and Steel Development. This event is both physical and virtual. The Council of Nigerian Mining Engineers and Geoscientists, also known as COMEC, is the regulating body of all professionals and firms in the geosciences, mining engineering and metallurgy in Nigeria. COMEC was established through Act No. 40 of 1990 and was officially inaugurated on 12th September 2000. Its major mandate is to regulate and control the practices of professionals in the fields of geology, geophysics, geochemistry, mining engineering, petroleum engineering and metallurgy. Professor Zakios Okbafunsho is the registrar. We were given back to by National Assembly, COMEC, when I say we, I personalize that's COMEC, given back to by National Assembly, via Act Number 40 of 1990 that set up this agency as the sole or apex regulatory agency of professionals in the Nigerian extractive industry. That is to separate us from others. And what does that mean when you say extractive industry? You are basically talking of professionals who are engaged in adding value to natural resources that are born out of the earth, be it solid minerals, be it petroleum, be it gas, be it water, be it sand, clay, the list goes on. So what you take out of the ground, use like that, or add value to it, and become useful to human beings. That's what the government wants this body to regulate, to monitor, and to actually fix it regularly. And be the nose, the mouth of the government, federal government in this case. And our money basically includes registering. When you see registrar as the head of any agency, jam, you know, it has to do with registering persons. Otherwise, they will have used the word DG. So the first mandate is to register, open a register for all members who are working professionals in the Nigerian extracting industry. Mining, geoscientists, cutting across geology, majority are geophysicists, hydrogeologists, then you talk of uh, engineering geologists, economic geologists, water resources experts, petroleum engineers, uh, metallurgical engineers, mineral processing engineers, so long as they take resources from the ground and sell like that or process for women or factory consumption, used locally or for export. That is the first mandate. The other mandate is after you open the register, which are supposed to be in different parts. The first part is registration of Nigerians. 
also registration of expatriates after you have done that then also you have different segments did you register is he supposed to register as a mining engineer is he supposed to register as a petrological engineer petroleum engineers geologists geophysicists just a list on and on like that we also have that the honorable minister of state for mines and steel development dr uche oga and the ministry's permanent secretary dr oluatuin akinladi are not left out in the agenda to identify available minerals and encourage small-scale mining this regime of president muhammad wari has stated loud and clear from the first time to the second time that they are diversifying the Nigerian economy because that is the best way to go and how do we diversify to what from petroleum to what two areas are greek and mining it has been clearly stated so i cannot be seen as if i'm an expert uh, take it saying for the first time it is the sink song of this regime so the other area apart from petroleum because petroleum is almost there was a time petroleum was selling for zero zero naira how does it come to that because there were a lot of vessels that were loaded on the sea and of course there were no buyer and you know the issue of demorage when there is no buyer you keep it waiting you want to dock you can't dock now it is one million metric tons at Susu dollar and of course when you can't dock at a particular time the demorage comes up eat up all what is left is that not zero naira nigerian oil was involved in that that is even better to dash them out as at that time so where do we go next a greek and mine and that is why the ministry of mine and steel development has key to that vision and we have our minister there that every day what they talk about is mine as a professional or firm wishing to register and identify with comec there is the need to first register and be a member of the Nigerian Mining and Geosciences Society. This is in order for the body to checkmate an individual or company's mining activities. Mr. Daniel Ibrahim is the head of registration. We have two registrations in the council. One is the registration of individuals, that's the professionals, and then the registration of companies. Okay, so for individual registration, uh, first and foremost, um, you have to be registered with the Nigeria Mining and Geosciences Society in accordance with the Act, because the Act stipulates that only those registered by the society can be registered with us. In recent times, the Council of Nigerian Mining Engineers and Geologists, COMEC, has achieved a milestone. Amongst others is the review of the COMEC Act No. 40 of 1992 and the accreditation of institutions in some regions of the country. Ngozi Adigwe is the Assistant Chief Geologist of COMEC. In line with COMEC Act No. 40 of 1990, Part 5, Subsection 13 to 15, the Council is charged with responsibility to prescribe and enforce minimum standards of education and experience to be obtained by persons qualified to practice as mining engineers and geoscientists. The following institutions have been accredited by COMEC teams and Council approved this on the 16th of December 2021. That's all the results were approved by Council on the 16th of December 2021. The institutions and programs are as follows. BSc Geology and BSc Applied Geology, Laduke Akintola University of Technology, Obumosho, Delta State University, Abraka, Mountain Top University, Lagos, Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, Adekunle Ajansi University, University of Lagos, Akoka, Lagos, Federal University of Technology, Akure, Ajayi Crowder University, Oyo, River State University, Port Harcourt, University of Nigeria, Nsuka, Gregory University, Uturu, in Abia State, Ekiti State University, Ado Ekiti, Onshu State University, Oshobo, Eboin State University, Abakaliki, University of Ibadan, University of Port Harcourt, Crawford University, Igbesa.
Then we also have BSc Geophysics and then BSc Applied Geophysics. Lado Kakintola University of Technology, Obumosho, Mountaintop University, Lagos, Obafemi Awolowo University, Ife, Adekule Ajasi University, University of Lagos, Akoka, Federal University of Technology, Akure. The engineering programs are not left out. We have mining engineering and other engineering programs. Federal University of Technology, Akure, B Engine in Mining Engineering, Federal Polytechnic, Adoe Kiti, HND Mining Engineering Technology, HND Geological Engineering Technology, HND Mineral Engineering Technology, Petroleum Training Institute in Efrun, HND Petroleum Engineering and Geosciences. Other accredited science based programs are as follows Federal University of Akure, Remote Sensing. Federal University of Technology, Akure Marine Science and Technology. At the end of it all, Council will give out certificates to all the programs that have been fully accredited. The Council has developed a new scale of fees for the Nigerian extractive industry, from the Consolidated Public Salary Scale to the Consolidated Research and Allied Institution Salary Scale. Moses Kojore is the head of department administration. Recently, council has just developed a new scale of fees for the Nigerian extractive industry, a copy of which has been forwarded to the Honorable Minister of Mines and Steel Development, architect Olamile Kong Adegute, for onward transmission to the Federal Executive Council for final approval. In the past, even up till now, COMEG has been operating a salary on COMPIS, which is not supposed to be so. We are one of the few councils that are earning this kind of salary. In fact, as a council and a regulatory body, we should be on the consolidated research allied and institutions salary structure. We have written to the, uh, the National Salaries, Wages and Incomes Commission. They have replied us, and we are working on their reply. In fact, we have finished on their reply. But I can assure you, before the end of March 2022, we'll forward our reply back to the National Salaries and Wages Commission. We are very optimistic that we'll be placed where we should be placed. Professor Zakios Okbafunsho is the registrar. Nigerian youths, up to 1,000 of them, have been adopted since December 2019 to date to be able to contribute their quota to the Nigerian mining sector. More importantly, we we'll remember the, uh, the, the administration of President Muhammad Buhari had decided to diversify from oil and gas to agriculture and mine. So our own contribution is to empower 1,000, over 1,000 Nigerian youth by inducting them as COMEG members. And they are working in various areas of Nigerian extractive industry. That's number one. Number two, in order for the act that set up COMEG, Act number 40 of 1990, to be able to address current issues, we have set the necessary machinery in motion to amend the act. And as at, I'm talking to you now, Necessary amendment proposals have been made by professionals on the COMEC. And this week, submission will be made to the Director of Legal Service in the Ministry. I'm also happy to announce to members of the public that the first digital stamp in the Nigerian extractive industry have been developed by COMEC. And this will be launched by the Honorable Minister of Mine and Steel Development at the stage of Lamile on 1st of March, Tuesday, 2022, 10 a.m. at the Ministry Conference Room. It's also coming up in, virtually, so people can listen to us. We wrote letter to 60 universities and polytechnics for this accreditation exercise that took place between August and November 2021. And 19 universities agreed and polytechnics that we should come. 19. Some of them refused our accreditation because of lack of knowledge or the implication. Because any student or parent that send their, their work to an accredited institution, they will not be accredited by Kume. They will not be certified by Kume. And they cannot work in Nigeria's extractive industry. Council of Nigerian Mining Engineers and Joe Scientists, Kume, cordially invites you to the Kume Digital Stamp Launch. Date. 1st March 2022, time 10am, venue, Ministers Conference Room, Ministry of Mines and Steel Development, Chief Host, Architect Ola Milekong Adegbite, Minister of Mines and Steel Development. This event is both physical and virtual. The Nigerian Geological Survey Agency, 
NGSA, as it is fondly called, was established over 100 years ago. The precursor was the Mineral Survey of the Northern and Southern Protectorates, which has been in existence since the pre-colonial era, and merging these together culminated to the Geological Surveys of Nigeria. The Nigerian Geological Society has birthed many institutions like the Public Works Department that has evolved to become the Ministry of Works. Nigerian Geological Survey was established precisely more than 100 years ago, that is in 1919. But the precursor to this Nigerian Geological Survey started with the mineral surveys of the Northern Protectorate and Southern Protectorate. This mineral survey has been in existence right from the pre-colonial era. And merging them together in 1990 led to the beginning of geological surveys of Nigeria. During this period, uh, the Europeans were looking for minerals to prosecute the World War. So in this process, they were surveying parts of the country. So that marked the beginning of actual surveys, that's geological surveys in Nigeria. Nigeria Geological Survey has given birth to so many institutions. The Public Works Department that later became the Ministry of Works started from Geological Surveys of Nigeria. The Nigerian Geological Survey Agency came about by an act signed into law by the National Parliament on the 22nd of May 2006. Prior to this time, it was only a department in the Ministry of Mines and Steel Development. Being an agency commenced with the enactment of an act which was signed into law by the National Parliament.